turn on four wheel drive <laughs> when you're four wheel driving. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Wanderer, welcome to our fifth year annual camping trip. Except this year, we're not actually staying in a tent, we're actually staying in an Airbnb just behind the Tangaluma Resort. The thing that I look forward most would be the snorkeling in the rack first time. Anyway, come and join us. Um, the gentleman just in front has asked me not to let you on the boat this morning, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna have to ask you guys to turn around. Hello. What channel are we doing? 69. <laughs> Behave, children. See, we're gonna end up on I Got Bogged on Morton Island YouTube channel or not? Why start the sideway? So we're dropping it down to 20 or 18, maybe 20, because there's been a bit of rain, so 20 should be fine. I just realized I haven't turned on four wheel drive. Now I am. Oh. oh, it's a learner. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Do you want me to pull you? He's going to reverse and pull him out. Step on it. Good job, Uncle. Oh. Are we stuck? Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. You want to build tracks backwards, forwards? Yep. Okay. That'll that'll flatten it out, okay. harden up your surface, and then you'll be able to take off. But we're going to dig you out a little bit. Okay. And we're going to you're going to go back, and we're going to help push you as well. Right? So, harden that now bit. Now go back. Now go forward. All the way? Forward all the way, keep going. Gently on the accelerator, gently go. After all the track building, I was still not able to get unbogged. Not until I dropped my PSI from 20 down to 16 oh, okay. and have everyone else went around me and heartened the tracks for me. already a mess. No, it's part of the fun. <laughs> this is what four-wheel driving is about. You're gonna help others, I was gonna wait for you. Oh shit. red bus coming our way. I think he's trying to get out of the way because he wants to go up where he just reversed out of. I see. The bus is going to Tangaluma so it's all good. I know I'm running down the track they're about to squash me. <laughs> Oh, tree. <laughs> Holy moly. It's like a mini convenience store here. Jeez. And here, four. Oh my gosh. We are now driving to Gutters Bar for lunch. But what a morning. Two cars got bogged. 
I did have the tires at 20. So after I dropped it down to 16, it was all okay. Is there enough room? Not further down, I think. How about we do sand slide yeah. for half an hour? Because it ties out going. Lift your feet up! And we're leaving Gutter Bar now, yummy lunch. We're gonna get some oyster on the way home. There was a Fort Everest that was stuck with a flat tire, and that is its spare tire. They were trying to see if other people have an Everest spare tire they can borrow. Yeah. I've seen so many YouTube video of people come in here. I've got the same knife, I never know how to use that. It's not pressure, it's, it's the wiggle. Ah. Uh, Big sand hill. Girls think that I dare not to do this. I shall prove them wrong. My leg burns. Go back to gas and build up. Whoa! In our evening walk, we picked up a few coconuts. No one believed that there was water in them. This is how I've proven them wrong. Are you ready? Oh my god, it actually is a lobster. It's nice. Day two, breakfast, pancakes, ice cream. Yay. Second date of our trip at Morton Island and uh, looks like the track is much better than yesterday after last night's rain. So apparently the girls said they saw whales out there. Okay, alright, I'm coming up now. At least one just bit, you see the tail like actually go out. Yeah, the track's not too bad once you get off the beach. But where is there a the blue lake. Just gonna go down, have a walk and see. It's just like Brown Lake gets straddy. It's not blue. It's almost windy enough to surf. <laughs> I see that big hole. I don't want to do that same big hole as Toy just done. I missed that. On our second destination, our second day at the lighthouse. Uh, apparently it's a bit of history tour, plus it's got a very good view. Oh, Grandma, did you say Pokemon Gym? Yeah, he's still playing Pokemon game. Don't, don't get him started, please. No, no. From the, all the YouTube videos I've seen, I thought you actually can go in to a house or something to look at some of the historical artifacts or documents about how this lighthouse was built previously but everything's closed you can walk around it but you can't get close to the lighthouse or, or even go into the lighthouse but still pretty fun so we are now heading to champagne pool pool champagne pool well, the lowest tide, tide is at four we're actually able to travel on this side which is the west side of the beach all right Thank you. Alright, first cast. Oh, big one. 
One more coming. That's the little bit of fishing we've done. No, I lost my only jig. Well, actually I've got more, but nah, it's too snaggy. And Cameron's trying to retrieve his metal slug as well. Nah, no chance. Roadkill, you, you, we're eating roadkill. <laughs> In front is where we is where we got stuck yesterday. I'm not making that same mistake. One go, no stopping. Yeah, 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 it's here. I'm coming up. So we passed it. No, no here. Yeah. Yay, no problem this time. Don't stop ever, just keep going. Nice. They're gonna spit out sand and then we can have that tomorrow for dindin. Or we could use them to catch fish. Um, are you having Sharon. Are you having Michael, Mary? what is this? Oh Capsicum God. juice or something. I'm gonna make food for feeding fish later into okay, the bottle. <laughs> well, I was gonna pick. Once we get in water, we squirt them and they're gonna come like piranhas. You'll see. Chinese breakfast, <laughs> Western breakfast. <laughs> Queensland, the combined processions of peepees for maybe for baits or for personal consumptions, 30. And if you know how to cook them well, and Connie does, it's very, very yummy. A bit of community service. I'm probably better off to do it in another language. You go lay, so sick me a go hin ge wa le. Ah, hai ho yi hai ge sa tan de lo ge. Da li yu ming ba ke ma ge duck to hai a combined procession. Je pe yu wa ya ge family gum la. Ah, le zi ho yu lo sam sub je ge hin. Um, yu wen de yu bo wu ge wan ging. Now, I don't know how to say that in Mandarin for our Mandarin friends, but um, yeah, 30 combined possessions only in Queensland. No, but it's a good one. 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 It's a good It's open. Oh, nice. It's a good one. Too much coffee. <laughs> Yes, toy. Which? Not sandy. Okay. But it tastes nice. Oh. All sunsy. Ready to go. Day three at Morton Island, and today is just going to be on the rack. Weather's not very good today, a bit cloudy and pretty chilly actually. But apparently the sun's gonna come out in the afternoon. You cannot come to the island and not go to the wreck and snorkel. So this is gonna be a long day. And we're talking about 20k wind waves. I've got the kayak, but you know why I'm not taking it out? Look at this other people who have a kayak. They can't even get on. So yesterday, there was one dude we drove past that was on a Fort Everest. Had a spare tire problem and someone came from the mainland and delivered it. Wait for me! What are you doing? Take them off, you silly coward. You walk backward. Man. It took a while to find a spot that actually I can anchor on the sand, but yeah, finally. That's a rope if you need. They're swimming back now to shore. 
Thank you all the support crew, ladies and Jen. It's too cold, first of all, too cold. And the waves, the current was really strong. We were gonna camp back in April, but we couldn't get the boat here. But if we had come here, it looks pretty all right. Not too bad at all. Toilet over there. See if there's any shower around. Are we ready to rock and roll in the water? <sighs> Come back this way. Oh my god, I just fell into this hole. Ah. So that's not stitches, right? No, oh, they're here! Right. Come! Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, what is that? Oh my god, whale! No, 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 I think it's between that yellow and that swimmer. What a day. We spent a whole day here at the Tangaluma Rack. It was so rough in the morning. Strong westerly wind and waves and it was cold. The girls went out anyway because we didn't know whether the weather's going to turn better or not. In the afternoon, the whole place just calmed down. All the adults went out in the kayak and we all got injured. <laughs> I actually fell into a hole. It was actually lucky. I, five centimeters on left and right. I would have been back in the mainland doing stitches right now. And icing on the cake is that we actually saw some whales. Came in inside the rack. We were looking for whales yesterday. We didn't see any, but today they basically swam inside between. And there's about six meters of water and there were three of them. They even did a, I don't know, a three point turn or something and swam back out. And everyone's packing up now, trying to get back to the apartment before it gets completely pitched up. Our house, our apartment is actually, I don't know if you can see, top of that tower there. But to get there, we can't go through here. We have to go through the Tangaluma bypass. So off we go. Yeah. Oh my God, fish sauce. Chili sauce, very fresh. In the next episode of our Morton Island adventure, we get to snorkel at the rack under perfect weather with great visibility. We also see how some members almost got drifted back to the mainland on their pool noodles. We drove around the island a bit more, and this time in much better sand condition. If you like the video, please click the like, share, subscribe, and bell buttons. See you in the next one.